Hey everybody, yeah, this lesson is connecting intercepts and finding the zeros. So this is uh, part one. I don't know if there's going to be a part two. So if, there, if you don't see one, then the chances are I didn't make one. It's talking about uh, graphing calculators. And I, I don't know if we're going to do that. So we, our class doesn't have them. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started here. So here's our question for our most awesome teachers. How can we find and graph the quadratic function to solve its related quadratic equation? And you're thinking, what? What does that mean? All right. All right. So here's a new way to graph quadratic equations. OK, so I, I didn't teach this method in my uh, in my integrated class. So it's very easy, you guys. When it's in this form, ax squared plus bx plus c, this is called standard form right there. So when it's in standard form, the axis of symmetry, which is also our x-coordinate of our vertex, is just take opposite this number. So whatever this number is, this is plus b right there. So it might be a minus like 3. So whatever that is, it's opposite b over 2a. And a is the number in front of the x squared, OK? And then to get your y-coordinate, whatever we got right here, we just plug that into this equation right there. And that'll get us our vertex. And then we go over and up squared, or over and down squared, a times 1 squared, 2 squared squared, 3 squared. So here we go. So here a is 1, b is negative 4, and c is negative 5 right there. Okay, so let's get our x coordinate. x equals opposite b over 2a. Okay, so this is also our axis of symmetry. So, so opposite 4 is positive 4. 4 divided by 2 times 1 is 4 divided by 2, or 2. All right, and then let's just check out our graph that they gave us. These tick marks are going by twos right here. Same on the y-axis you'll find on the other ones there. Go by fours or something else. I don't, I don't know what your book's uh, deal is on that. They switch it up like that, but what they do. Anyway, so there's our axis of symmetry, and this is opening up because it's positive. It's opening up 1 times 1 squared, 1 times 2 squared, and so on. So let's get our y coordinates. So plug in x equals 2. All right, so this is 4 minus 8 is uh, negative 4. Negative 4 minus 5 is negative 9. Okay, so our vertex is at 2, negative 9. So way down here. Okay, so there's negative 8, there's negative 10. So there's negative, negative 9 right there, OK? All right, so this is going up, you guys. It's going over and uh, up. So over 1, up 1 squared, OK? 1 times 1 squared, which is just 1. So to the left, 1 takes us at x equals 1. And go up 1, it's uh, at, at 8. And to the right, 1, it's at 3. Uh, negative 8. Did I say 8? Negative 8, because it's at negative 9. So go up, it goes to negative 8. All right, so now we're going to go over 2 up 1 times 2 squared. It's always a times this 1 squared. This 1 is this 1 right here, OK? So we go up 4, OK? So for up 4 from negative 9 takes us to negative 5s on both sides right there. All right, and then so over 2 is going to take us to 0, negative 5, and then over 2 is going to take us to 4, negative 5. OK, over 3, up 1 times 3 squared, which is 9. Over 4, up 1 times 4 squared, which is 16. Whoops, I went a little bit too many clicks. So you can see our parabola right there. And when you trace it out, we get that right there. All right, so we're going to be graphing parabola. So that's another method how we graph parabola. So we're going to solve these equations uh, by graphing a related function. OK. So it also should say uh, by finding the zeros on this also, you guys. OK, so what we're going to do is uh, add 3 to both sides. So when we add 3 to both sides, we get uh, that. And so our related uh, uh, function is going to be y equals 2x squared minus 2. So where this parabola uh, intersects the x-axis, this x-axis is the equation y equals 0. So when will this equal 0? When this parabola that we're going to graph crosses these, this x-axis right there, OK? So uh, here's the one way that we first learned how to do it. Make a table right there, OK? Uh, or we can do x equals opposite b. There's no b in there, so opposite 0 is 0 over anything is 0. So I know the vertex is going to be at x equals 0. So when we plug in x equals 0 right there, uh, we get uh, 2 times 0 minus 2 is negative 2. So let's go ahead and plug the rest of those in. And I'm just going to save some time right there, OK? All right, so when we graph those points, we get uh, those guys right there. All right, now, uh, let's see. So be careful, you guys. This axis is going by 1s, whereas this axis is going by 2s. Again, I don't know what your book is doing, why they're doing that. They're just because they hate teenagers, I guess, you guys. They're just trying to trip you up a little bit. So 
as I go over um, uh, 1, it goes up this number times 1 squared, okay? 2 times 1 squared. So 1 squared then times 2 is 2, okay? Except when we go up, each squ uh, square is worth 2, okay? When we go over, each square is worth 1, okay? Again, I don't know what your book is doing right there. Okay, so and then if I go over 2, so 1, 2, it goes up. Uh, 2 times 2 squared. Well, 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8. So it's going to take us up 8, and that's up here at um, uh, 6. If I went over 3, it'd take us up 2 times 3 squared. Well, 3 squared is 9 times 2 is 18, somewhere up here. Okay, anyways, there's our parabola right there. Now, remember, we wanted to know where it equals 0. So where it equals 0 is where it crosses the y-axis. So a 0 of a function is your, just your x value that makes the value of the function 0. So they're just the x-intercepts. So this is the x-axis. This is my x-intercepts. So my x-intercepts are right there and right there. Where does it cross the x-axis? At uh, when x equals negative 1 and x equals positive 1. Remember, we're solving for x x right here. So when we're solving for x, we want to know where's the x values. It's at negative 1 and positive 1, okay? Is this my favorite way to solve these? No, of course not. There's a much easier way later, uh, but your book wants to show you pictorially why these are happening. Okay, let's check this out. These are going by 2s. These are going by 2s. Everything's going by 2s right there. Okay, same directions. We want it to equal 0, so we're going to add x squared to both sides, okay? So when we add x squared to both sides, and then our related quadratic equation is to graph this guy. Okay, I'm going to do x equals opposite b over 2a. So negative 6 over 2 times 1 is negative 3. So there's the axis of symmetry. So plug in negative 3, and when we get negative 1, so our vertex is at th negative 3, negative 1 right there. All right, so this guy is going up because it's positive. So when we go over 1, it goes up, and the a is 1, so 1 times 1 squared. So it goes up 1. So over 1, up 1. Over 1, over 2, up 4. Over 3, up 9, and so on. So when we graph these points, we get that right there and there's our parabola all lined up right there okay so the zeros are where it crosses the x-axis okay so the solutions are x equals negative 4 or x equals negative 2 that's where it crosses the x-axis those are our x-intercepts okay so these directions will ask you to solve by graphing and then finding the zeros here's another way you guys okay so solve by finding points of intersections of the two related graphs okay so on this one here we don't want these ones to equal zero. We want these ones to um, uh, one side equal one piece and the other side equals the other piece. So we'll add two to both sides right here. And then we'll graph this parabola on the left. We'll graph this horizontal line on the right. And we want to know where they intersect. Okay. So uh, y sub 1 equals the left side. Y sub 2 equals the right side. Well, y sub 2 is just a horizontal line. All right, let's check these out. These are going by 2s. These are going by 2s. Okay. All right, so let's graph the parabola right there. There's the parabola. Okay, so the, uh, the vertex is at 4, 0. Remember, this tells me to go to the right 4. Okay, it's like a plus 0 right there. So it's at 4, 0. Okay, so over um, over 1, it goes up 2 times 1 squared, because it's that number right there, which is 2. So over 1, up 2. If I go over 2, 2 times 2 squared is 8, so it goes up 8 on both sides. All right, and then let's graph this red guy, y sub 2 equals 2. Okay, so now we just want to know on this one, where do these graphs intersect? Okay, they intersect at 3, 2, and 5, 2. Okay, this is again an x answer. So this means um, uh, they equal each other when x equals 3 and x equals 5. Okay, so the solutions are x equals 3 and 5. Okay, let's try this method with another with a different problem. Okay, so we're going to add 12 to both sides. Okay, now when it says uh, uh, solve by graphing finding zeros, then we'd set it equal to zero. But this says uh, solve by finding the intersection of the two related functions. So we're going to graph this side, this parabola, and graph this horizontal line at 12. Okay, be careful. These are going by 2s. These are going by 4s. Okay. All right, so y equals 12 is going to be right up here. We're going to graph that guy. Let's graph the parabola first. Okay. So there's a, uh, the parabola has vertex at 5, 0. So um, as we go over 1, it goes up 3 times 1 squared. Over 2, up 3 times 2 squared. Okay, so 
when I go over 1, these are going by 2, so over 1, it's going to go up 3. Okay, well, this is 4, so 3 is going to be like right about there, okay? Over 2, okay, there's 2, it's going to go up 12, so up 12 is going to be right there, I think, okay? And then so there's those points, there's the parabola right there, and then let's graph y equals uh, 12 right there. And we want to know where these lines intersect. They intersect up there when x equals 3 and x equals 7 right there. All right, so let's do a quick recap, you guys. When it says solve by graphing to find the zeros, what we do is we take this equation and set it equal to 0, and then we graph the parabola and then we want to know where does the parabola cross the x-axis okay because so we set it equal to zero that's when we find the zeros okay and then when it says solve uh, uh, by finding points of intersection that's when it doesn't equal zero we put the number on this side and we graph the left parabola we graph the right horizontal line and we want to know where they intersect okay so zeros are where the parabola goes through the x-axis and find where they intersect we want to know where does the parabola and the horizontal line intersect okay so real quick you guys solve this guy by graphing uh, the related function and finding the zeros. Okay, so we want this to equal zero, so we're going to go ahead and make it equal zero right there. So we added uh, the x squared to both sides, and then we graph this parabola. I'm just going to save some time. There's the parabola right there. Okay, and we want to know where does it cross the x-axis. That's when y equals zero, so it crosses it at negative five and negative two right there. Okay, here's that parabola, and here's another example of Solved by finding points of intersection, okay? This one here, we're going to make it equal 3, and then we're going to go ahead and, and uh, graph um, uh, the left side and graph the right side. So the, we want to know where does the horizontal line intersect that parabola, okay? So it intersects it right there and right there when x equals 1 or x equals 3. All right, you guys, if you are in my class, that would be your assignment. Take care.